everybody what's up my name is Casey and welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video we are going to be touring my island strawberry yes I have finally finished my island so strawberry is a kind of colorful forest core island here is my map the dream address is at the bottom of the map if you would like to go ahead and tour along with me I'm so excited I can't believe I finished my island you guys I feel like I've been working on this island for like six months but without further ado do let's go ahead and get right into the video so here we are at my entrance as you can see I have a lot of waterscaping going on in this entrance I kind of broke up some of the terraforming as well just to kind of like divide up the space a little bit and then if we continue on to the right over here you will see this is the area that's kind of in front of my resident services so as you can see here I am kind of trying to stick with a color palette for this island um, so you'll be seeing a lot of like whites, greens, and blues, and then I kind of, as you can see this like colorful flowery path, I kind of incorporate some of the colors from the flowers on other areas of my island. But over here we have a little kind of like music creation space. I really love that NPC player. I was so excited when it came in the new update. And then if we come over here, you will see we have kind of a little like outdoor garden shop area, if you will. I wanted to add a little bit of a pop of color to my island. So that's why I went ahead and added this little garden area. It was kind of nice to add in some colorful flowers when working on this island because I think I've mentioned before in past videos like when I am working on an island and I'm trying to stick with like one color scheme or color pattern it can get kind of boring so incorporating some color definitely helped me on this island and then if we come over here I just kind of have like a little hidden like waterfall area or like waterscaped area that I did actually the other night so I'm really happy with how this turned out and then if we hop across here, I just have like a little pond and then like a little picnic area where you can come and read with your little Brewster gyroid or gyroid, however you say it. Um, so yeah, I just have a couple smaller picnic areas right here. And so now we can go ahead and hop back across this little waterscaping area right here. And then we'll go up to this second level I have back here. This was, I believe I did a video on this. I think I did, I can't remember, but this was one of the first areas I built on this island with the terraforming I definitely wanted to have multiple levels and a lot of different waterscaping on this island as well and then as you can see I just incorporated like a lot of different natural items and a lot of different like fences like we have that barbed wire fence I have the country fence I can't even think of the name of that other one the corral fence I don't know but whatever that other fence is so I definitely mixed up the fencing options I chose to use on this island I just think it added a little bit of diversity throughout my island and then if we hop across here we have another little like seating area with like just a little lost item pouch and then if we come back here we have another like little music creation station whatever you want to call it and then um, I really, really like that like little record player item. I think that's really cute. And then if we go ahead and come back down here, we have my uh, rep's house. I just made a little picnic area down here. So my beaches and the inside of my house is not done. I don't think I'm going to finish it. I just, I didn't have the inspiration to do it. I tried making a little blueberry farm over there on the beach, but I kind of gave up as you can see. Um, but if we come over this way you will see that I have a little incline that will be leading up to my Able Sisters shop back here. So I definitely wanted to stick with like the theme of Able Sisters when decorating this area. So as you can see we have like a sewing machine, the folded pile of sweaters, and then we just have like the clothing lines back there as well and then if we just come back down this path we'll head up this incline over here and I will start to show you guys the other side of my island so right here I just have like a cute little seating picnic area and then if we come over here I tried to make it so you could kind of see the terraforming and waterscaping in the background I think if and when I create my next island I want to incorporate a lot of waterscaping and terraforming for sure that's definitely my favorite part of the game and then if we come over here we have a little filbert's house so i did go ahead and customize some of my villagers houses to try and kind of match my island like theme or just like the overall theme of how i wanted to decorate their yard 
and then we'll just hop across here another little river that I have and then I think I'm gonna come back down here I did a video for this area this is Silvana's yard so as you can see she has a little farm right here and then I kind of gave her just like a little seating or picnic area back here and then this diagonal bridge leads to the campsite so I really wanted to have the campsite on the back part of my island I don't know why I just I don't think I've ever really done that on an island so I wanted to switch it up a little bit and it's right by my secret beach so I just thought that looked really nice together. I also tried to keep the design for my secret beach pretty simple. We just have this like rattan chair and like the little moccasins next to it. So now let's go ahead and come back across this way. I have some more areas that I still need to show you guys on this island. The next one I wanna show you, I'm actually really, really excited about. I have wanted to do this, you guys, on every one of my islands, but I have not been able to yet. So here's just like a little transition area that leads over from resident services and this area actually if you take this diagonal bridge this will be going to the area that i was just talking about so here is my next cranny i was able to keep it in its baby form for the entire time i have never despite many many failed attempts i've never been able to keep my nooks in its baby form i don't know how i did it i literally think i only went in it one time when that was just so i could get able sisters but i'm so so happy with it i think the baby version of nooks is just so adorable and i wanted to keep it really natural so you just see that i have like the stunted trees and then like that flowery path and kind of just flowers spread throughout it and then what I want to do is we will go ahead and come back here so this pathway will actually lead to my museum. I decided to keep Blathers in his tent just for kind of like old time's sake and I just tried to decorate this area kind of naturally. I kind of just made like a little spot for Blathers to sit over there by those um, trees and the log planks and then let's see if I can hop on back over here and we'll come back down this way and I will show you guys some more of my island. So then if we hop across here, we'll take these like log planks down over here and you will see that I have a little rock garden. This is actually the last area that I built on this island. And then I just have a little like sewing slash like picnic area. And then to the back of it, I just have these little like standees and then a little kind of hidden reading slash picnic spot back here. And so if we we go ahead and come back across this way I'll show you my favorite villagers yard so if we hop across here you can see him back there we have baby Rudy so I decided to give Rudy quite a big amount of space on my island let's just say hi to him real quick see what he is up to so of course he talks about me working up a sweat but yeah I really love Rudy I decided to give him a little farm and quite a lot of space on my island I just think he is the most perfect little villager He's always so happy and running around doing zoomies, so I try to give only the best for baby Rudy. And then if we come back down over here, I'll show you this little, I guess you can call it like a transition area as well. I just made like a little seating area and a little like makeshift building. And then if we come back here, you'll just see I have some like terraforming and waterscaping as well. And so uh, we can go ahead and hop back across here. I'll show you guys a couple more areas that I still have yet to show you on my island. I hope you guys are enjoying this tour so far and I hope you guys are doing well today. So we will hop across here and then we will take a left and go up this incline. So I made this little honey farm right here. This is, I have a couple of these across my island, but this was the first one I made. I'm really, really pleased with it. And then this transition area overall, I just am really pleased with as well. I added a bunch of different like small seating areas and I really, really enjoy making these smaller seating areas. So you'll find quite a lot of those on this island. And I'm just really happy with all of the like stunted trees and like the different variety of trees that I used and whatnot. Also, on this island, this is the first island where I've ever used weeds as a decoration, so I'm quite proud of myself for that. Um, and then if we come down here, we have Henry's yard. I did a speed build on this, so definitely check that out if you want to see how I built this area. And then we can go ahead and actually climb up this vine right here, and I will show you this second and third level. Let's see if I can hop across here, and I will show you this villager house right here. 
Let's see if it'll let me. Okay, yeah. So this is Lily's yard right here. Just try to keep it like really simple and match like the outside of her house. And then we can actually come back across this way. I want to show you guys this area back here. So I wasn't sure how to divide up the space. So I did do a video on this area. Um, I just added some waterscaping to kind of break up the land a bit. And then I made a little movie area back here. I really like this like outdoor projector item. I think that's really cute. And then if we come up here, I have a Maple's house, which I customized and then just gave her like a little seating area. And I actually made it so you could kind of travel like on this back area right here. And then we have a Poncho's yard and he's actually outside. So let's say hi to little baby Poncho. He is so cute. I wanted to give his customization of his house like a lighter blue customization and then I just try to incorporate some like lighter colors in his yard overall and so if we come back down here I think there's just one other area that I wanted to show you guys um, so we'll hop across here and then we'll actually come back down this vine and we'll kind of cut through my museum area and I'll show you this last area on my island you guys I can't believe I finished this island I never thought I was going to be able to finish it. If you have any ideas for my future island, should I choose to do one, definitely leave a comment below and let me know what you think my next theme should be. But anyways, if we come up here and come across this diagonal bridge right here and head to the left, we actually have a land bridge right here. And this land bridge will take us back to uh, Mint's house. So I customized Mint's house in this kind of pink and mint green and white color because it just reminds me of mint. She's a mint green and her cheeks are rosy and pink and I just think she's so cute and it's actually one of my favorite house customizations. So yeah, this is the last area on my island. I hope you guys enjoyed this tour. I'm really proud of myself for actually having the inspiration to complete this island despite multiple weeks of burnout um once again thank you all so much for watching this video and spending a little bit of your day with me please subscribe to my youtube channel if you are not already subscribed it really really helps to support me but other than that i just wanted to say thank you all so much for watching i hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day and i'll see you in the next one bye